Setting Goals for Fitness and Health Health and fitness goals are certainly among the most common. After all, wouldn't most of us like to shed a few pounds or commit to something that would bring us the results of a fitness program? If this is you, here's how to go about setting goals for fitness and or health. Begin by first deciding what it is that you want out of it. Do you want to improve your appearance, your physical skills, build endurance, flexibility or strength, or are you trying to lose weight? Make sure that the activities that you pick meet the goals for what you want to get out of it. Set yourself up for success. It's important not to destabilize your efforts with goals that are too long-term or impossible to attain. For example, I want to lose all my extra weight before summer is too unrealistic, particularly if you have a great deal of weight to lose and summer is just around the corner. Too often, goals are an end result of whatever program we choose and not a part of it. You have to make goals an active part of your life by creating goals that lead to the next goal. It is just like the backwards technique you may have already heard of. For instance, setting a goal to lose 10 pounds puts the goal at the end without putting too much pressure on you right away. You can add to this goal once it is achieved, and so on. Setting a goal to join an exercise class and attend it three times a week makes the weight loss goal a part of the program. You will have set a goal that is achievably almost immediately. This gives you a sense of accomplishment, which is an incentive to setting and achieving the next goal. Record your progress. Write your goals down so that you have something to look forward to as well as to look back on. To begin, map out no more than eight weeks of activities towards your first fitness goal. Working within your lifestyle, decide on a regular program. It's not necessary to work out every day, especially when beginning a new program as your body is not used to the stress. Our bodies become tired if expected to do hard work seven days a week. Exercising every other day is a safe and realistic goal. Keep track of how much time you want to spend doing an activity, followed by how much time you will actually spend on it. Not everyone is looking at fitness and health to lose weight. Perhaps you are just looking to better your health. We tend to focus most on the area of our health in our lives when our health is already failing or is less than stellar. Unfortunately, it may sometimes take a life-threatening event, illness, or some type of physical rehabilitation to give us a wake-up call to make tough changes in our current health habits. We try to follow through on sound health principles such as enough sleep, a healthy diet, and plenty of exercise, yet we may not have the time in our busy schedule or have strong enough willpower to implement a balanced and healthy lifestyle. With the pressures of the fast-paced world in which we live, stress can set in and take its toll. Many of us spend a lot of time away from home. What that means is that we are eating on the road as well, which doesn't always offer us the best or healthiest choices. Perhaps we are lucky to get six, maybe seven hours of sleep per night while we now work at least six days per week. The old saying, at least I have my health, is finally starting to mean something to a great deal of people. You might be wondering, what can you do to improve your health? Prioritize what is most important to you in your own individual lifestyle. The fact is, it doesn't matter what your fitness or health goals are. But be honest with yourself at all times when it comes to your personal goals. And as often said, you should also consult a doctor before making any changes to your diet or exercise regimen to ensure that you will not harm yourself. That's all there is to it, and continued success to you. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.